This is Jupiter Today for the 4th of January, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 35 minutes, 55.2 seconds and a declination of positive 15 degrees, 13 minutes, 0.9 seconds. The angular separation between the Sun and Jupiter, as seen from Earth, is 141.753 degrees, and that's 1.099 degrees greater than it was yesterday. The phase angle today is 6.566 degrees and that's 0.16 degrees less than what it was yesterday and the distance between Earth and Jupiter continues to get less and less every day as we get closer and closer to opposition today that distance is 675 million 342,557 kilometers and that's 1,462,474 kilometers closer than it was yesterday and that gives a relative velocity between Earth and Jupiter of 60,936.42 kilometers per hour and that's 1,404.41 kilometers per hour slower than it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 170.75 degrees, CM2, 83.35 degrees, CM3, 342.9 degrees. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant one, heading east, Europa starts the day in quadrant 4, also heading east. Ganymede spends most of the day in quadrant 2, heading west. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant 2, also heading west. At 6 hours UTC, EO is still in quadrant 1, heading east. Twelve hours UTC, EO has just passed its eastern elongation and now it's in quadrant 2, heading west. 1800 hours. Europa's going to start moving behind Jupiter, already in Jupiter's shadow. Ganymede is about to transit Jupiter. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, Ganymede is just moving out of transit. EO is still in quadrant 3, heading west. And Europa still in quadrant 1, heading east. And Callisto in quadrant 2, heading west. There were. There are going to be 10. Jupiter satellite events today. The first is at 1718 UTC when Europa disappears into the shadow of Jupiter. At 1720 the shadow of Ganymede ingresses. At 1724 the shadow of Io ingresses. At 1809 Io begins its transit of Jupiter. At 1941 UTC, the shadow of EO egresses. At 2022 UTC, 
Ganymede begins its transit of Jupiter. At 2026, the transit of Io across Jupiter ends. At 2057 UTC, the shadow of Ganymede egresses. At 2140, Europa reappears from behind Jupiter. And at 2359 UTC, Ganymede ends its transit of Jupiter. So between 2022 and 2026, a very short four minute window, uh, both Eo and Ganymede can be seen transiting Jupiter. There were two, there are going to be two satellite mutual events. The first takes place from 7.59 to 8.09 UTC when Ganymede's shadow eclipses Eo. It's a 9.3 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of Eo of 0.055 magnitudes. It's 106.56 arc seconds from Jupiter, that's a good distance, and the separation between Ganymede and Eo is 32.85 arc seconds. The second event is also Ganymede eclipsing Eo, and that happens from 1723 to 1737 UTC. It's a 14.3 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.061 magnitudes. However, the eclipse is only 9.34 arc seconds from Jupiter. That's going to be a very difficult uh, eclipse to observe and measure, but perhaps interesting. But these two events are interesting in that we can see that there's an eclipse at around 8 hours UTC. And then a second eclipse with the same two bodies at about 1723 UTC. And what's happened here is that EO has swung around and while it was on its way out to its eastern elongation, it passed through Ganymede's shadow and then met its eastern elongation, started heading west and move through Ganymede's shadow once again. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. From our point of view, Ganymede's shadow is eclipsing Eo. And now we'll see Europa move into the shadow of Jupiter. along with a couple of the other minor moons. There they go. Won't see them reappear, but we will see Ganymede and Eo transiting the sun. There goes Ganymede. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today. First at 0 hours 25 minutes, the second at 10.20, and the third at 20.16 UTC. There were no new images. There was some new radio data 
taken on the 3rd of January 2015 at the UT time indicated. And there were no new papers. So please subscribe. Enjoy hearing your comments and suggestions. You can send those and your images of Jupiter to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.